This segment of Naperville Sports Weekly is brought to you by BMO Harris Bank. I am here at Naperville Central with sophomore Rose Fritz of the Naperville Central Gymnastics team. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. So first thing I want to ask you is your kind of gymnastics career. When did you start? When did you get started in gymnastics? I was always a crazy little kid, and <laughs> my parents really needed something to put me into. And so by the time I was in third grade, I was competing gymnastics, and I have ever since. What other sports did you play growing up? I didn't actually do any other sports until I was in eighth grade and I started track. What was your favorite event when you were little? And I don't know if it's the same now, but what was it when you were little? It's always been bars. Always? always. How come? I'm not entirely sure. Maybe because I'm always, I tend to be really strong. So it's always been the easiest. It's almost a pure strength event. And you talk about track. When did you kind of decide that you want to do it not that I know eighth grade you said you talked about it but when was like I'm actually gonna do this for sure like you like was it just eighth grade that somebody asked you to do it or did you get interested by yourself or how did that work out it was pretty much just eighth grade for years though my parents were joking around saying that I'd be a great pole vaulter someday and I didn't really believe them but <laughs> I did track anyway and now in gymnastics, it's, it's a taxing sport on your body. A lot of, a lot of injuries, you can have little, little stuff. What's, how tough is it physically on you throughout the season? It's really hard. I've gotten two permanent injuries now from it, which I just work through and I'm okay with because I can manage. But there are days where I just go to the gym and I can barely tumble because my body is so tired. What are the two injuries? I have a permanent fracture in my kneecap and I have some bad joint damage in my wrist. And that's all from gymnastics? Yes. <laughs> when did those occur or when did those kind of start coming up, I guess? Uh, my knee, I hurt when I was in seventh grade and my wrist, I hurt actually over the summer. So the practice routine, does, uh, to prevent injuries in practice even, how do you kind of go about practice on a day-to-day -day basis throughout the season? I really make sure that I warm up well and I stretch really well at the beginning and the end of practice because that really helps your body from tightening up. Now, practicing with your team, what's it like being, now you're, you have one teammate left going into sectionals, but as a team, what's going to be the difference practicing by yourself with just Haley instead of practicing with your team? It's going to be different because it's a different dynamic. You know, my teammates have helped me a lot through the season. They've always been encouraging and really upbeat and it's going to be a little bit weird not having them there to when I'm afraid to go for something say yeah Fritz you got this. What was the most exciting meet for not not regionals but as a team what was the most exciting meet this year for you guys? It was definitely the Fremd meet because we got our team high and we brought up some girls from JV so it was really fun to have a bunch of people compete at that meet. Can you talk about the Naperville North matchup a little a lot was it last week? The... Were you, were you, I think you guys won by one point towards the end. Oh, yeah, that meet, it was, uh, it was a really fun meet because it was North Senior Night and we just had a lot of fun competing and we were all a little bit achy <laughs> yeah. and in pain, but we all pulled through. What, as, as having your teammates there, what's going to be the difference you think going into sectionals now with only one teammate? As you said, they're kind of cheering you on. How are you going to keep your confidence up and keep that kind of mentality? I'm just going to try to tell myself it's just like warm-ups, it's just like practice, just relax yeah. and do your routines, but it's definitely going to be difficult without that encouragement. Was there a different feeling at regionals? There definitely yeah. was. Mm -hmm. I was thinking at this point it's more for trying to qualify and trying to do really well and it was a little bit different thinking team versus individual. Do you have any routines you do that kind of maybe we could be even something you eat any weird things any songs you listen to before you go out and, and do your thing not really no. i just i listen to music all the time and i pretty much eat the same things <laughs> all the time so the days of meets i just keep all that the same with haley is there going to be anything different that you guys do at practice because it's such a bigger stage now is it going to be the same stuff you've done the entire year it's pretty much going to be the same things we've done the whole year. Maybe we'll work a few new skills at the beginning of the week, but just routines, make mm -hmm. them really nice and really clean. Did you set any goals for yourself at the beginning of the year? 
My goal, because I came in with that wrist injury, was just to get back and do the best I could with struggling with wrist pain. So getting out of regionals and sectionals is obviously very exciting for you then. <laughs> You're going, you got a chance to go to state and now, so a question I want to ask you about gymnastics now that a lot of people in different sports wouldn't understand, there's a sport with judges. And if you don't get the score that you like, how do you keep your confidence up if you think you deserve a better score? Personally, I trust the judges mm -hmm. that they'll score me well. Although there have been times where I've thought, oh, I didn't score as well as I wanted to. And then I just go to practice, I stick routines, I make sure I do them better and so I can go and in the next meet I can do better. Because a lot of people, they, when there's a sport with judges, they get, it's, there can be controversy with it. And you're not really sure sometimes the outcome, if you deserved it or if, if, you just, if something you should have deserved but you didn't get it. Is there a certain score, I mean obviously like a perfect score, but is there a certain score that you look for in each routine that you do? I know that each routine I'm probably going to mess up mm -hmm. in different places. So I just try to look at my average and shoot for that average and hope that I can make it cleaner and get it high, the score higher. And what's been your favorite thing about this team here at Naperville Central this year? It's definitely the way that we uh, encourage each other and we're very upbeat and positive and we just try to help each other through the pain. You guys do any fun team bonding activities outside of here? Yeah, we have pasta parties before home meets sometimes. And there's a team sleepover and a team breakfast. Pasta party, does everyone cook or how does that work? We just order pasta from somewhere. Oh, you order it. Yeah. So no one's making it. No themselves. one's oh, making okay. it. Okay. Well, that's, that's fine. Where do you order it from? Clara's. Okay. And then we go and we eat it at somebody's house and we all bring fruits and vegetables and desserts and other things. So that's before home meets? That's before home meets. That's fine. Now, Kind of just, you can, I know it's a, you've only been here for two years now, but what's your favorite memory you've had here individually here at Naperville Central? There have been a few times this year where people have started singing on the bus <laughs> and we all just join in and it's really fun to see everybody doing that. And you have a young team here. Is that pretty exciting going forward that you're not losing uh, everybody? It's not a senior heavy team. They just still have a lot of young talent. It's definitely good to look forward to, especially because through my second year being on this team, I've grown closer to the people in my grade. Mm -hmm. Now looking ahead of the track season, um, what's, do you have any goals coming up for the track season? What are you excited for? I'm really excited for how I'm gonna do in pole vaulting this year because I've had a lot more practice mm -hmm. compared to last year. Well, only three years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really hoping I can make it to state this year for pole vaulting. I know you're only a sophomore, but looking ahead, would you see yourself doing either in, in college? I've actually thought about this a lot. Oh, really? And I don't think my body can handle no. more of gymnastics. So maybe track, So though? I'm thinking of pole vaulting in college. Well, that's exciting. And pole vaulting, can you just talk about how much gymnastics can help you in pole vaulting? Well, with that, you have to have a lot of speed, arm strength, body control, and you also have to go upside down in order to pole vault very well. And all of those things you see in gymnastics and mm -hmm. you see in even harder skills in gymnastics. So you, you, gymnastics is harder? Definitely. Pole vaulting. <laughs> Although it, it takes a while to learn the skill for pole vaulting. Yeah. Well, you've been but, doing gymnastics a lot longer yeah. too. And I haven't mastered pole vaulting. Well, you no could, you still got time. And <laughs> another year on varsity, hopefully you get more experience. But good luck at sectionals on Thursday. Hopefully you can uh, get to state and congratulations on getting out of regionals. Thank you. Thanks for joining us.